Hey guys, in this lesson video, we're learning how to write ratios and simplify them. So first off, the definition of a ratio is a comparison of two numbers, which can be written in three different ways. You can use the word two, so you can say three to five. You could use a colon, which is the double dot, and you can write three to five that way, or you can put it out in fraction form three over five. Um, so for example, we can compare four cats to five dogs, and we can call that four to five. We can compare two fish to seven birds and call that two to seven. We can call six, talk about six pens to five pencils, and that would be six to five. And again, we can use the word two, we can use the colon or the fraction. So for example, and it says in this first problem, in order to make the perfect snack mix, Ethan uses four ounces of popcorn, five ounces of pretzels, and six ounces of potato chips. Determine the ratio in simplest form. So we know that we can simplify fractions and a fraction is one way to write a ratio. And so we can simplify our ratios just the same. The first one says popcorn to potato chips. So it says I'm using four ounces of popcorn and I'm using six ounces of potato chips. My original ratio would be four to six, but four and six are both divisible by two. So instead of saying four to six, I can simplify that and say it's two to three. Pretzels to the entire mix. So it says that there's five ounces of pretzels and the entire mix is four plus five, which is nine, plus six, which is 15. So if I'm comparing five to 15, I could write that five to 15, but what are five and 15 both divisible by? Five. So if I simplify five fifteenths, I would end up getting one to three, one third. The entire mix, which we know is 15, to popcorn. So the entire mix we know is 15. Popcorn is four, 15 to four. Can I divide 15 and four by the same number? Nope, and so my ratio is just 15 to four. Potato chips to the entire mix. There are six ounces of potato chips, six to 15. Six and 15 are both divisible by three. And if I divide both by three, I get two to five. Next one, determine the ratio of the given shapes. Rectangles to all shapes. How many rectangles do I have here? I have three. How many would be all the shapes? Five. So it's three to five. Triangles to rectangles. How many triangles do we have here? There's two. Two rectangles we know is three, so the ratio is two to three. These can't be simplified yet. Rectangles to triangles, so rectangles is three to triangles is two, so three to two. Notice my ratio is always in the exact order that the words are in. And last one, all shapes to triangles. There's five total shapes, there's two triangles, and so that would be five to two. A smoothie is made using 20 pieces of fruit. Five pieces of fruit are strawberries. Determine the ratio in simplest form. Strawberries to fruit. So how many strawberries are in this smoothie? Five. How many total pieces of fruit are there? 20. Five to 20 can get simplified by five, which then becomes one to four. Strawberries to non-strawberries. So there's five strawberries. Now there's 20 total pieces of fruit. So if five of them are strawberries, how many are non-strawberries? 20 minus five is 15. So strawberries to non-strawberries would be five to 15. We used this ratio before, five to 15 would simplify to one to three. Fruit to non-strawberries. So there's 20 total pieces of fruit. The non-strawberries we just said from the previous problem is 15. 20 to 15, they're both divisible by five. So 20 to 15 becomes four to three. And the last one, fruit to strawberries, 20 pieces of fruit to five pieces of strawberries, 20 to five, 20 over five simplifies to four over one, which is just four. So either ratio would be correct. Determine the number of ratios, ratio of the given shapes, simplify the ratio. So now we have some different shapes. Hexagons, hexagons are your six sided figures. Hexagons to all shapes. So I have one, two hexagons out of one, two, three, four, five, six. Two to six would simplify to one third. Circles to triangles, there are one, two, three circles to one triangle, three to one, which is just three. Hexagons to circles, I have one, two hexagons, one, two, three circles, so that's two to three. Circles to all shapes, one, two, three, 
to all six shapes. What does three to six simplify to? Three six is really one half, one to two. And then the last one, all shapes to hexagons. So there's six shapes, there's two hexagons. Six to two would simplify to three to one, which is just three. And the last one, a box of markers contains four reds, four yellows, three greens, two blues, and five purples. Determine the ratio in simplest form. Reds and yellows, so that means we need to add up reds and yellows. So four plus four is eight to the blues, two. Eight to two simplifies both by two, so that would be four to one or four. Greens to the entire box. It says there's three total greens. The entire box is four plus four is eight plus three is 11, plus two is 13, plus five is 18. So greens three to 18, three to 18 would simplify to one to six. The entire box, which we know is now 18, to non-blues. All right, so if there's two blues, then that means the non-blues would be 16. So the entire box 18 to the non-blues 16, 18 to 16, divide them both by two, and you get nine to eight. Yellows and blues, so yellows and blues, so 4 plus 2 is 6 to the entire box of 18. 6 to 18 would simplify to 1 third. And the last one, blues to reds. We have, let's see, 2 blues to 4 reds. 2 to 4 simplifies to 1 half. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.